Hey everyone, it's me, Him Hamsters 21 here. So today's video is going to be my um, Valentine's Day special for 2016. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys um, Striper's Valentine, and I am going to be doing some quick shoutouts, and I'm going to be doing a question and answer. And I am so excited for this video, and I hope that you all are, all are as well. So without further ado, let's get started. Hope you guys enjoy. Okay guys, so I have a little striper here, and so me and him are going to announce his valentine for 2016, aren't we striper? Yeah! So before we announce it, we're going to give you guys three hints on who this valentine may be. So the first hint is that this valentine that striper has is a girl, and the second hint is that this valentine that he has is also a dwarf hamster. And the last and final hint is that this person who has this dwarf hamster, her YouTube username begins with a V. So I'm gonna give you guys 10 seconds to guess and hopefully you, you guys may guess the right one. So three, two, one. So now we are going to reveal Striper's Valentine. So Striper's Valentine, if you have not guessed it, is Willow from Vanilla Snowflake 16. And this is a drawing that I did of little Willow. And here's little Striper. Striper, so I was just cleaning myself. But this is Willow from Vanilla Snowflake 16, and I am definitely going to try to insert some clips of Willow here. But uh, Striper, this is the little drawing we made, and Striper is going to read, or actually I'm going to read for him, this little valentine that we spent to be for Willow. So this is what it says, here's um, Striper. So it says, Dear Willow, I am so glad to say that you are my valentine and that you are so cute. Love Striper in 2016. Oh, don't eat it. Striper, that's rude. Now he's trying to eat the Valentine. That's not for you. That is for, that is for Willow, huh? And this is the little drawing that I hope Striper, that was the little pause from Striper. So I hope that you guys um, will enjoy this. And then congratulations to Willow for being Striper's Valentine. Hey, thank you. And Striper was very, very excited to be a part of this and I hope that Willow enjoys it and has an amazing Valentine's Day. Okay guys, so I think it is time for the shout out. So instead of mentioning every single person's um, name here, I'm just going to be putting them all over the text while showing you guys cute clips of Nutmeg. So I took her out in part of this video. She's a little bit tired, but she's still looking pretty, pretty cute. Hi Nutbutt, you good girls. So thank you all so much for being a part of my channel and means so much to me and not my aunt Striper and me as well. We'd just like to give a huge thank you to Vanilla Public 16 um, for helping us be a part of this huge like little video together because it's been so much fun chatting with you and working this out and I've just had an amazing time. guys, so we are now going to get started with the question and answer. So I have my iPad here, and I'm just going to be answering the questions off of that. So my really, really great friend, Dog Hamster Fist, asked, how old am I? And I would love to give you guys the answer to that, but unfortunately I cannot, so um, I guess you guys just have to guess that. She says, do you plan to always have hamsters? Yes, I do, as I love hamsters very much. And then she says, what made you decide to get a hamster? Um, well basically I just love pets and I really wanted a dog so I couldn't get one and I asked my parents if I could get a hamster and they said yes. Okay, so she also asked what made me decide to make a YouTube account and what made me decide to make an Instagram. So for an Instagram, I just wanted to make an Instagram account to show people my hamsters and I never thought they would ever get to 1,000 or more followers and that was amazing. And what inspired me to start YouTube was basically the hamster community and everyone being so cool. Okay, so Pasta123 asks, are you going to get another hamster? And if so, what kind? 
So yes, I am definitely planning to get more hamsters in the future. Probably not any right now, guys. I still have two. But maybe once after one of them passes, which I would never be rushing, guys. Once one of them passes, I would probably want to get another Syrian. And maybe a long-haired Syrian or a short hair. I'm not really sure, but definitely another Syrian hamster. Okay, so moving on. So the Hammy Popcorn asked, um, she asked, what are your hamster's favorite toys and treats? Well, they both absolutely love the yoga drops, the pie treats, and their favorite toys would probably be their Petco um, igloos. She also asked, if you would get another pet, what would it be? If I could get another pet, it would definitely be a dog. Okay guys, so my really great friend, Anita Animals, a pet crazy one on YouTube asked, if you could own any pet in the world, what would it be and why? Um, definitely a dog because I think they're amazing and I've always wanted one. And she also asked, what's your favorite um, NSC song? Or no copyright sounds. And currently my favorite it would probably be, um, I'd probably say Hope by Tobu. So Possum123 asked, what is your favorite type of hamster? So my favorite type of hamster would probably be a Syrian hamster. And I'd like short hair and they're not long hair, but I suppose I'd like those as too. Um, and she says, and have your hamsters ever gone into Topor? Um, they don't, they have not done that. And I'm very thankful for that. And I'm so sorry if any of your uh, other hamsters and anyone here has had that experience. But my hamsters personally have not. So Val Z asked, have you ever lost a pet and or person? And how did you deal with it if so? So thankfully I have never lost a pet. Um, I have lost family members and uh, I've never lost a pet though. And um, Nutmeg is almost two years old and I'm trying to cope right now with like not like really thinking about her passing but trying to figure out ways of how to deal with it. But when they do die, I'm just gonna try and like be happy and know that they are in a better place. Okay, so the last question is from Monty and then period hamster. And she said, how much do you pay monthly for your hamster? Well, this would vary on um, anyone else though. Um, so basically each person could be different. Um, it all depends on when you get the supplies. So I get bedding, I get food, uh, sometimes shoes and toys and just anything you need for a hamster. So I'd say per month, probably $45 because you, it but kind of depends on the month. Like if I get one month, a lot of stuff and I don't, I don't have to get that much the next month. So it kind of depends on the month that I'm having. Okay, so thank you guys so much for um, participating in the Q&A and I really love getting questions for you guys and answering them and you guys are just awesome and thank you so much for that. And if you guys ever want to participate in one of my future Q&As since I would definitely be having more, um, just follow me on Instagram. It is a private account, but my Instagram is hamminetmike21 and uh, I usually post like things on there that's saying like Q&A and then you guys can comment or you guys can DM me your questions. And so thank you all so much for participating. And another thing I just wanted to say is that, oops, no, sorry. <laughs> um, but I have a new Instagram called hamminetmike21 and that's kind of for this YouTube account, but my main is hamminetmike21. So you can follow me on both of those accounts or just hamminetmike21, which is my main. So thank you guys again for participating. Okay, so thank you all so much for watching this video. It really does mean a lot and I hope that you guys all have an amazing, safe, and wonderful Valentine's Day and you give your hamsters lots of goodies. And remember, no chocolate for the hamsters because that's not good or any other pet. And if you know something 16, would know what I mean by that because we we're talking about that. <laughs> so, um, happy Valentine's to all of you guys and just thank you so much for supporting me and my channel and it means so much to me. So I will see you guys in my next video and yeah, bye everyone.